The wait has been long. Four filmmakers and content creators invested in Sony's cinema line, the buzz around the next-gen FX3 has been growing louder. With rivals pushing the envelope, introducing features like internal RAW and open gate video, Sony users have felt left behind. Now, signs point to a real successor. The Sony FX3 II, or FX32. But the big question remains. Will this highly anticipated camera be worth holding out for? Or have the competitors already raced ahead? Stay tuned as we dive into the latest insights, expected upgrades, and what it all means for your next shooting rig. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to Technify for more deep dives like this one. Sony hasn't officially announced the FX3 II, but it's far from rumor. Recent regulatory filings from Japan show a device with pro-level video specs that don't match any typical Alpha Series camera. Industry insiders are convinced this points to a cinema line update, with many leaning towards the FX3 successor rather than a new Alpha camera due to form factor and power demands. The original FX3 was well regarded for its compact size and impressive video quality, but it lagged in key areas. Open gate recording, for instance, has been missing, something competitors have embraced fully. The FX3 II is expected to correct this with full sensor readout capabilities, allowing creators to shoot in 3.2 and later crop for various platforms like YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok. This means more freedom in post, less compromise on image quality, and a smoother workflow for content repurposing. One of the most requested features, internal raw recording, is also likely making its debut. Unlike the FX3, which required external recorders for raw video, the FX3 II is rumored to bring 12-bit internal raw capture. This is a huge leap forward, giving filmmakers greater control in post-production. You'll be able to preserve highlight and shadow detail, enhance dynamic range, and unlock more creative grading options, all without the need for extra gear. Resolution is another area of expected growth. While 4K remains the standard for most workflows, the FX3 II could push into 6K or even 8K territory. This would benefit those looking to future-proof their projects or crop and reframe without losing clarity. However, there's a potential trade-off. Sony has to balance resolution increases with the legendary low-light performance of its A7S line. Getting that balance right will be crucial. Autofocus is another point of improvement. Sony already leads in this space, but the FX3 II is expected to inherit more advanced AI-based subject tracking, possibly borrowed from the Alpha 1 or newer Alpha models. For documentary, solo shooting, or run-and-gun filmmaking, better autofocus could be a game-changer. Another exciting, though less confirmed, possibility is a global shutter sensor. This would eliminate rolling shutter artifacts, a holy grail for fast motion and handheld work. While implementing global shutter often affects dynamic range and low-light capability, its potential inclusion would be a bold move from Sony and a serious flex in the cinema camera space. Ergonomically, subtle refinements are expected. We might see better weather sealing, redesigned button placement, and possibly a fanless cooling system for quieter operation. Perfect for interviews or sensitive audio environments. Existing users also hope Sony keeps the built-in mounting threads, a standout feature on the original FX3 that's perfect for rigging without extra cages. Another wishlist item is the addition of in-camera false color for exposure monitoring, a tool widely used by pros but still missing in several Sony cinema bodies. However, timing may be Sony's biggest hurdle. The FX3 II is reportedly not arriving until late 2025. By then, rivals like Panasonic's S-Series or Blackmagic Cinema options will have further established themselves many of which already offer internal RAW and open gate formats. For those just entering the world of filmmaking, especially without a stockpile of Sony E-mount lenses, waiting for the FX3 II might feel like standing still while others race ahead. That said, for existing Sony users who value consistency in their lens ecosystem and crave pro-level upgrades without switching systems, the FX3 II could be exactly what they've been waiting for. Internal RAW. Open gate. AI autofocus possible 6K or even 8K capture, all packed into a familiar, compact body. So, is the Sony FX3 II worth the wait? That depends on where you stand. If you're already deep into the Sony system and have been holding off for a major upgrade, the rumored feature set could be worth staying put for. 
the FX32 promises to address long-standing limitations and close the gap with the competition. But if you're starting from scratch or need pro features today, the delay might be too much. Excellent alternatives already exist with similar, or even better, capabilities available right now. Sony may be playing the long game here. And if they deliver, the FX32 could be a serious contender. Until then, the choice is yours. Wait for a camera that aligns with your workflow dreams, or jump into a system that meets your needs today. What do you think? Will you wait for the FX32, or explore other options in the meantime? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to Technify for more updates, reviews, and tech insights.